Hello guys, welcome to Web Scraping Kung Fu series and today we're gonna learn how to fake Ajax request. So let's ember, enter chamber number six. It looks like almost exactly, well not almost, it looks like exactly like the chamber number five uh, like uh, from the uh, user perspective but if we have a look at the source that the table tag here doesn't contain any data inside. Instead uh, the data is fetched using the so-called AJAX request, uh, which is defined here. So that's uh, th that is related to the data table jQuery plugin. So uh, to to see how that actually happens, we need to invoke the Chrome Developer Tools. Well, the Firefox has absolutely the same, basically, from the functionality perspective. If we just update the page here, that we'll see that. Uh, here we are making this asynchronous AJAX request to the API and if we just preview this we'll see that the data is actually uh, s uh, returned in the JSON format and if we have a look at the headers and fetch the URL that is used here and just uh, just create a new tab and pass paste the URL that will see the pure raw JSON response here that uh, uh, that is actually providing the data to us so what we need to do in order to scrape this sort of HTML tables well we actually need to fake the Ajax request so we need to reference this particular URL to obtain the data so let's actually start writing some code so first I need to import uh, requests to make HTTP GET requests, then from this BS4 import beautiful soup. And you might wonder why do we need beautiful soup? Well, we still need to extract uh, the tag names, but okay, maybe we don't really need that. And we can extract the tag names from. Yeah, we can extract the tag names from. Yeah, from the JSON response itself. So, sorry guys. Yeah, we don't really need beautiful soup. I just, I just imported this line so many times in my videos. Okay, so sorry to be automatic. So let's import JSON instead to parse the API response and also import the CSV module to actually. Uh, store uh, write the content to the CSV file. Now I'll create a class called uh, let's say Ajax Scraper and define a few methods here. So the first method would be called as always fetch uh, and I'm just wondering yes uh, let's make it just I used to do it as always so would return requests dot get and the URL and now the parse self and here we'll, we'll be dealing with the JSON response okay dev to CSV is used to write the CSV uh, file containing the results that we will scrape and def run to start the scraper. Run method would be used to start the scraper here. And now let's create a class driver here. So I say if name is equal to main in this case we want to create the scraper instance equal to ajax scraper and scraper dot run like this so here would we need to create the response object and say self Batch. and here we'll use the API URL that we found either in the source code it can be found here 
but it's, it's better to make sure that your your course your reference and actually the right URL in the headers the request URL here in the developer tools so I just grab this and paste and paste here so okay and also yeah and now we need to parse so it's gonna say self parse uh response and this time we're not well, well we can actually pass the response.txt and then the parse parse function we would need to convert this to json but uh we can use the json method of uh json method of the requests library like the built-in method so this would convert the response to the python dictionary for us so uh well no don't don't really need to call oh, or, or well i don't remember exactly okay so let's actually print to type that the json so just hope to see the output okay so we got the output here so let's make sure that it's the type of Python dictionary actually okay and uh, as far as this is the dictionary we can pretty print this uh, using JSON dumps and then well probably it's not really good idea to call this JSON uh, for the conflict possible conflict with this one so well, let's call this let's call this content yeah JSON dumps content and then is equal to two okay Okay, so now we have this response pretty printed here. And now uh, we actually already kind of have all the data we need, uh, uh, but, well, uh, I remember before, because just I've, I did implement that myself, that uh, it's formatted as a one big, di one big dictionary uh, with a data key and then the list of all the items and that is done basically to serve the data tables jQuery plugin but uh, you might uh, uh, encounter also the pure list of objects like like JSON format allows you to do it well in case with the Python dictionary the conversion would be a little bit different but still so what we need here is we actually don't need the entire uh, the entire sort of uh, this object but only the value of the data tag so of the data key here so we actually need only the content uh, content data like this uh, yeah so this square bracket here just would be removed for yeah we, we only have the initial list here so uh okay okay guys hold on a sec okay so now let's actually store our results the results list so here i say self dot results is equal content data and let's actually bring the results so for one in results I want to print JSON dumps one and then equal to two two spaces okay name data is not defined oh name 
results is not defined. Of course, some results. Okay, but now the problem is that we don't really want to include uh, this ID. So that's the MongoDB related uh, ID. So just to, well, that's the database stuff. So we don't really need this. And um, let me think how to get rid of that one basically. Okay, so deleting the ID from the results uh, list is as simple it is as simple as for each element. Well, let, let's actually call this entry. So entry entry for each element. We say simply del entry and uh, the name of the key that we want actually to get rid of. If we just run this again. And basically we see exactly the same results list but without that annoying ID at the moment. Okay, so well now it's actually time to start writing our CSV file here. So I just call self dot to CSV and here we want to open the file stream so I say would open Let's call this table dot csv and open the stream to write the bytes as csv file. Now we need to create a writer, uh, and this time we'll be using the csv dot dict writer. Yeah, and the dict writer actually takes two parameters. So the first one is the CSV file stream itself, and the second one is what is known as the field names. So uh, the field names uh, here. Uh, so let's take the self dot results and the very first element and the keys. So. Now we need to say writer dot write header. Okay, let's just quickly test that out. So just to make sure that headers has been written correctly. Okay, country director general pass to release your. Okay, so it seems uh, that seems to be just fine. And. And now we need actually to loop over the results again. So say for row uh, in self results, we want say writer dot write row and pass the row itself as an argument. Okay, so and, uh, I hope to see the entire HTML table to be written at the moment. Okay. So great, seems like it works correctly. Okay, let's open this in the LibreOffice to make sure everything is just going fine here. So yeah, country director, Jenner, poster. Release your staring and the title. Well, for some reason, title is is located at the very end. Well, you might have formed that as well, but that that's not really that kind of important at this point, I believe. So, uh, as far as this particular video is dedicated to faking the AJAX requests, not formatting the CSV table. So, this is kind of it. And let's just check the entire number of. If entries here so it's three thousand two hundred and thirty okay so this is it okay guys I hope you've learned something from this video and found this useful actually so until the next time and take care